Two new campaign ads released this week touch on hot button issues in the race for Congress in District 2. An ad from the National Republican Congressional Committee says Ron Barber has failed in working to secure the border. In this TV spot, you see former Congresswoman Gabby Gifford's lobby group, Americans for Responsible Solutions, attack Martha McSally. It criticizes her for opposing new gun background check laws. Justin Shecker with a closer look at these two ads. Martha McSally's campaign is on the record, calling her pro Second Amendment. Her deputy campaign manager told ABC News in April, McSally's focus is, quote, enforcing background check laws already on the books, not expanding those laws that will do little to prevent violence and infringe on the rights of law-abiding citizens. The relationship was over, and he got a gun, and he shot her and my husband. McSally says this latest attack ad from Americans for Responsible Solutions needs to be pulled off the air immediately. Martha McSally opposes making it harder for stalkers to get a gun. In a statement McSally writes about her own past stalker, quote, I've had threats made against me and wasn't even safe in my own home or car where my stalker broke in and held me in a hostage-like situation. She calls this ad degrading to all women and victims who have experienced this pain. We could secure that border tomorrow. This new ad from the National Republican Congressional Committee features a border rancher. I don't see Mr. Barber leading on any of those issues. When it comes to the border, Ron Barber is missing in action. It mentions Ron Barber's vote against an immigration and border security bill in August. A Barber campaign spokesperson called the vote pure political theater, adding he stood up to the feds when they tried to get rid of our radar system to detect drug smugglers and when they tried to reduce the number of agents working on the border. And the Border Patrol Council here in Arizona has endorsed Ron Barber in this tight race. As for the McSally ad, her campaign would not give us any more details about her past stalker. We'll continue to fact check all these attack ads as we move closer to the November election. Stella? Justin, thank you.